Mystery and misconception. Possibility and promise. A crop that hasn't been farmed in America for over 60 years is making an exciting and historic comeback. Industrial hemp is an agricultural plant that can be used for medicinal and industrial applications. CBD, or cannabidiol, is one of the many cannabinoids that can be derived from the industrial hemp plant. One of the biggest differentiators, of course, is that industrial hemp has been used in the textile industry for a long time. Concrete, uh, different reinforcement of materials, its seeds have various properties, hemp seed oil is pretty big on the market. There's hemp hearts as well that are a good source of protein. So there's a lot of different components of the plant beyond the bud, which is what's used for extraction of CBD. Hemp really gained a negative reputation since it got coupled with marijuana in the 1937 Marijuana Tax Act. There's going to be more focus on not only on cannabidiol products, but in hemp in general. One of the biggest misconceptions we see about CBD is that unlike THC, it does not cause a high. Marijuana is grown more of a greenhouse type grow versus industrial hemp. You can see that on large amount of acres. But the look of the plant is similar, especially the buds, which is where the important compounds like the cannabinoids and terpenes are concentrated. The general public and lawmakers still don't really understand that CBD is a molecule that does not have any psychoactive properties and will not cause that high from marijuana. CBD has been shown to have a lot of analgesic properties. There's a far-reaching list of benefits from CBD that have yet to be explored. With the recent breakthroughs in science and a surge of mainstream popularity, hemp products are primed for big years ahead, expecting to eclipse two billion in revenue by 2020. But even with such extraordinary momentum, challenges within the industry still persist. So states have a licensed cultivation program for industrial hemp. The biggest criteria is that the THC content in the hemp must be less than 0.3%. There are certain licenses that are required by the Department of Agriculture of each state to be able to plant hemp. So once you get the license, you get two weeks to farm all of it. It doesn't matter if you have five acres, it doesn't matter if you have 500. You must get it within a certain time frame. You need harvesting equipment <laughs> to be able to farm 500 acres. You can't do that by hand. Right outside Denver, in Watkins, Colorado, Casmira is delivering legitimacy to a burgeoning but widely unregulated market. By producing up to a thousand kilograms of THC-free CBD products used in everything from textiles to gel caps, Casmira is actually helping to change the agricultural face of America. Our academic and professional backgrounds are in chemical and process engineering. We've seen everything from purification, distillation, extraction, all the methods that are very important to employ in an industrial hemp manufacturing facility. Not only that, but our team is composed of operations experts. We have chemists, we have chemical engineers, and they all have backgrounds in purification technologies as well. Combined, our team has 125 years of chemistry and engineering experience, and we're able to bring that to Casmira to not only design an efficient plant, but work with our team members to help them understand increasing efficiency of processes. To make an end product that has 0.3% THC, you actually have to start off with a raw oil, such as our oil, but that raw oil will have 2-7% to THC. So you end up having to dilute the oil 10 to 20x to make sure that it's compliant to 0.3%. To get it to 0.3% THC is difficult, but with Casmira oil, we're able to get it to 0%, which is a higher efficacy and just, just shows the technology prowess that we have. Purity is very important to us because it's all about trust. So we send our oils out for third-party testing to make sure that there's no THC in the end product. And that is one of the ways that we're constantly innovating um, to make sure that we're at the highest level of purity and quality. We work closely with local Colorado farmers to not only understand how they can help Casmira, but also to increase awareness in general about the growth of industrial hemp. 
We planted last year 240 acres, we're planting a similar amount this year. And what this does is provide the company with a consistent supply of feedstock. As the world's largest manufacturer of broad-spectrum CBD isolate and THC-free full-spectrum CBD oil, Casmira is using their superior extraction process to produce up to one ton of product a month. By creating a better product, Casmira is instilling something even more important in their customers – confidence and trust. They can rest easy knowing that there's full traceability and we can track the product the whole way through. And we know even just coming into the facility, our hemp does not have those contaminants and the products will not have them either. No heavy metals, no pesticides, no residual solvents, no THC. To learn more about how Casmira is setting new standards in purity every day, visit casmira-llc.com.